Boom, chaka laka laka 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 bo
It's just sort of bad taste to not tell an actor, like, what they're working on. Right. But like, I would never audition for a show not knowing what the show is at all. Right. Yeah, that's a good point. I guess, yeah, so they have to do that often, huh? Well, I think that I is mean, something they get now. They at least get, like, they get NDA'd for it. Like, they can't talk about yeah. it because the video game industry is really touchy. Well, yeah, because if, if something leaks out when it comes to video games, that shit is going everywhere. Yeah, it, it really tends to, like, explode. So I can understand, like, I'm sure in the past they've been really hurt when actors who, uh, you know, a lot of the times don't really know much about video games, they're doing it. They learn, obviously. Yeah, they but... just sort of do it like, hey, I'm in this thing, and not knowing that it's something yeah. that they're not allowed to talk about. Yeah, and so gotcha. they talk about it, but it's like, whoa, you can't. Mm. So that, I'm sure that's why they have these, but at the same time, it's like, it hurts. Oh, that's a catch twenty two. It's like, so... what if you like, what if you get put into a game you're just like super, super uncomfortable with? Yeah. Because it's like where the content's just not fucked up per se, but it's just really like not in your code of morals, as it were. Don't get me wrong. I'm, I'm sort of of the belief that most actors should like understand that their work is acting more than anything you yeah. are you are portraying somebody else you're not living your own life on stage but of course but, but still, you are like, representing yeah i totally understand if like somebody has like religious reasons for not swearing like yeah i'm not gonna make you swear right you should tell your directors that and stuff but no like you should know if you're working on a fucking porn game from japan too <laughs> like let's be real here like you yeah should... that's yeah that agreed so like Basically, what was the point of me to? Uh, oh yeah, so Just like talking about this article. Yeah, I was talking about the article because Lauren was doing voices, and we were like, "Yeah, rest." Yeah. Because like that's what you should be doing. Yeah. yeah. And, and I'm in a musical right now, and I probably. Yeah, that's right. You're in Edwick. I still need to fucking see that. When yeah. is the? Uh, when is that run it, till? You could see. Well, it when this when this comes Thursday. out, it will be over. I, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm saying for me is Alex because I is this weekend. weekend. This weekend's last. Okay. But I can totally you could go it. Thursday. I can't well, I catch up rehearsals for Mad Messiah. We'll talk about this yeah. Yeah. outside of the show. Yeah, <laughs> I, I did just realize that this is woefully uninteresting to everybody else but us. I'm sorry. But, oh. um, I did... <laughs> we both... <laughs> <laughs> All right, you Perfect. know what? I think that's actually not exactly a bad place to stop no. it. Uh, like, this might Perfect. be a little bit of a shorter episode, but, you know... But I think we, but, we but anyway, touched on a lot of... Yeah. yeah. Over... So, point is, is voice actors need rest and, like... I just didn't realize that the voice industry had like such issues, I guess, because, oh. and then I, now I'm thinking about like all the video games that have, um, like actors who scream for four hours. I mean, if you, if you want to like think about it from game? a script point of view, like choice based story games, which are my oh, fucking favorite. Yeah, no, absolutely. Scripts they're are like huge. thousands of lines. We're yeah. in a musical or a play. You have like what, sixty pages, maybe? Yeah. Like a hundred. And when of you go into hard. a vo vocal session, you don't ha you don't, don't have jump. the copy before. You don't know what you're gonna be saying until yeah. you get in there. Yeah. Sorry. No, it's. I'm it's, very. Are you very passionate, passionate about, about it? Trust me, I, I, I'm with you on that. I will say the article was um, from the Washington Post. It was titled "The Twenty Five Dollar, uh, Twenty Five Billion Dollar Video Game Industry, Voice Actors." <laughs> I haven't done my vocal warm-ups yet. <laughs> Voice actors face broken vocal cords and low pay, and it was written by Todd C. Frankel. Um, just, yeah, read it. It's hey, hey, whoever uploads this video, because it may be Whitney or it may be me, uh, put the link to that in the description and stuff. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Yay! But uh, anyway, so yeah, I just wanted to talk about voice acting. Uh, thank you so much, Lauren, for coming on and commentating. Yeah. Thank you for uh, having me. We would me. love to have you again. Yeah. So we're going to like, I'm trying to do this new thing where we'll do like three episodes by yourself and then three episodes where a guest pops in and Yay. then three episodes by yourself and then another guest will pop in depending on how long the series is. You know, it'll just, just be a different personality of mine. Ooh. Yeah. Oh my god. Mm. Well, different character. Oh, we need to come up with like we need. Oh, we need to just come up with like distinct personalities and give them different names and not tell the audience that it's different <laughs> versions of you. <laughs> I can, <laughs> that'd be wonderful. Aww. Aww. And on that low note, I think we're gonna call it here. <laughs> <laughs> All right. See you guys. Thank you so much, Lauren. Of course. Uh, bye. We'll see you next time next on next time on Game Gamer Queer. Bye.
<laughs> Bye.